Dozens of wildfires are currently raging throughout northern Alberta, causing more than 13,000 evacuations and smoky skies throughout the province and beyond. This is a story of the evacuees and the firefighters battling to save their homes, and the steps that people outside of the affected area can take to avoid breathing in the smoke and other pollutants. The northeastern corner of British Columbia is facing a smoky skies bulletin due to the nearby wildfires that are steadily growing. This means that thousands of people have had to leave their town and seek help elsewhere. For the people of Fox Lake, a small indigenous community of 3,500 people, this means the biggest upheaval that many have ever seen. The area has been under extreme dry and windy conditions, both of which fuel the spread of the fires. According to the Air Quality Health Index, the air quality is rated at 8, high risk, in the Fort Street. John area on Friday. To avoid smoke and other environmental pollutants, experts advise trying to stay inside as much as possible and if that is not a viable option, to replace the filter in one's forced air heating slash cooling system and to run the fan continuously. For all of the communities throughout the region that have been affected by the evacuation, they are living through the uncertainty of what they will return to after facing this tragedy. Members of the provincial disaster team and local firefighters are working tirelessly to combat the flames. Canada has rallied to support the evacuees, with some independent groups doing whatever they can to donate food, clothing and supplies to help out in whatever way possible. The courage and resilience of the people who are working to get their lives back together amazes observers all over the nation. Whether in Alberta, British Columbia or anywhere else in the world, nobody should have to face such a life-changing devastation. The courage of these small communities and the people who have been affected remain strong in the fire's wake. This is the story of the wildfire evacuees and their determination and courage to fight through this difficult time.